Greetings, everyone. Here we are. It's Mr. Gormley. We're looking at uh, how to draw on Autodesk Inventor. So what's going to happen? I'm going to give you a little introduction, and we are going to go through and draw this shape that's right here in the corner. You can see that. We are. This is how it should turn out. And as we go through this, we're going to look at how we can do this. There are going to be five steps that we will follow. If you look at this program, you'll see that this is a very difficult program. If you remember, for those of you, this might be a review. For some of you, this might be a beginning intro. Okay? And no matter where you're coming from, remember that this is a very large program and that this program is something that professional engineers use. And we are just getting the tip of the iceberg, scratching the surface. So we come back to our steps here. And we're going to use these five steps as examples or as our kind of framework to build anything that we need, okay? So we have first, step one, start a 2D sketch. Step two, select a plane to draw on. Step three, draw a shape and dimension it. Step four, finish the sketch. And step five, extrude it. So we're going to come up here and we're going to go to our big eye and go to new. When we look here, we're going to have a couple of different options here. We have three things we will be looking at. One is part. Next is assembly. That's taking parts and putting them together. And the third is making a blueprint or a drawing. Okay. We're going to go to part. Our template, we have English or metric. We want English because we're going to be using inches in the shop. So we're going to click English. And we want a standard part. So we hit create. That should open us up to this blank uh, view right here. So our first step, we have start a 2D sketch. I'm going to come up to the corner here. You'll see that whenever we start something, we're usually going to be looking up in the right-hand corner. So this is our tool palette here. And I'm going to click start a 2D sketch. You'll notice these golden planes come up, and the planes mean a plane or a surface. So we have three planes. And if you think about it, it's like our front view, our right side view, and our top view. As if I'm looking at my view cube up here, top, front, and right. So I'm going to choose the top view, the XY plane. I click on that. And now I have two axes and the top view right there. So you'll notice that my tool palette changed into a sketch view. So I've got my tool palette here, and what we're going to do is start with a rectangle. So I'm looking at this, and I need to draw right here. I need to draw the top view of this. So I'm going to look and see that I need, essentially, if I'm looking at the top, I can see the width and the length. So I'm going to look here. I'm going to follow dimension lines. And I'm going to look and see, yep, I've got 4.19 from one corner to the other corner. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. I click on rectangle. I'm going to click it in the middle of the axis to kind of keep it centered. And then I drag it out. And it doesn't matter where I go. I click, finish that drawing, and now I dimension. So remember, I'm here. I've done my start 2D sketch. I selected my plane, and I'm drawing and dimensioning. So I click dimension, click the line here, drag this down, and click a second time. Now I know it needs to be 4.19. So I type that in. Problem is it goes off the screen. So I can use my scroll button to zoom in or zoom out on your mouse. Or if I double click it, it makes it so that it is centered. That's really handy if I go out too far, double click it, gets it centered again. So now that I've centered it, now I'm going to look to make the dimension for the width. So remember, I'm looking at it from the top view. So it's looking at it from this direction, straight down. So I look for the width. I follow my lines down. I don't see anything up here. So I follow my dimension lines down. And I see 2.44. OK. So I click on this line, drag it out, click again. 2.44.
And so now I've drawn n dimension. My next step is to finish sketch. So I finished sketch, that was that check mark there. And then I extrude. So I'm gonna to go to extrude, that's up here. Click extrude, and now I need to know the height. So I'm looking at my shape, and I see that it's 2.75. So 2.75. And now I've made a cube, and a bunch of you are gonna say, hey, Mr. Gormley, this doesn't look like the shape that we need to finish with. You're right. So. I again follow my five steps. I'm going to go through these. So I start a sketch. Now I'm going to draw on the side here. And I'm going to cut this big chunk out. So I'm going to get a rectangle. Draw this out here. And we're going to go dimension from here to here is going to be what? So I look from here. Oh, I see from here to here that's three inches so I type in three and then I need to look and see well do I have anything that's giving me the dimension here no what I do have down here that's 1.25 so I'm going to take my dimension click here to here and type in 1.25 I finish my sketch I go to extrude, and now I want to cut. So here I have build, but if I choose here, then it cuts. So then I can go OK. And so now you see, I swivel this around with my view cube. You see I have this L. The last thing I need to do is cut out this little chunk right here. You see right there? So again, do my five steps. Start a sketch. Draw right there. I'm going to grab a tool, rectangle tool, click, drag, dimension. If I look here, I see from here to here, these arrows, 1.125. Here to here, 1.125. So it's just a square, 1.125, enter, 1.125 enter. So I've drawn, I dimension, finish sketch, extrude, cut it, okay. And there it is. There's our shape. We keep doing our five steps until we get our shapes. We draw, we cut, we extrude. Draw, dimension, finish sketch, extrude. Good luck. Go on, go on continue with the next shape once you get done with this one. And uh, remember, we are going to draw all of our shapes here. Good luck, guys.